Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we have Abhimanyu Saha with us. He is the founder of Gurukor, a freelancer's app that helps you earn, track and grow your freelancing income professionally. It has three major features for you. So it helps you with invoicing, it helps you with payments management and it helps you sell digital products like workshops online. So whether you are a beginner freelancer, an intermediate freelancer or an expert freelancer, if you are trying to streamline your freelancing business, then Gurukor is something that I highly recommend. You go download it on your Android phone and start using it. Now, without wasting a lot of time, let's talk to Abhimanyu. We are going to talk a lot about businesses, entrepreneurship, and you will get a lot of valuable nuggets of this session. So stay with me till the end. Hi, Abhimanyu. How are you? Hello, I'm good. I'm good. How are you doing? I am good. Thank you so much for taking out time from your busy schedule to talk to us and to talk to my lovely subscribers. I don't have a busy schedule. <laughs> <laughs> That's even wonderful to hear. I think everybody wants to know how as an entrepreneur you have so much time at hand. I don't have a busy schedule. I think I just prioritize what I like to do. Uh, so the rest can just uh, work on their own or just yeah. Makes so sense. I don't have. I don't. I don't try to act busy uh, as an entrepreneur. Uh, so let's just start by you know talking about um, who you are, what you do, how you got into it, this entire thing. Hmm. So I just, uh, you know, open this yeah. up for you. So uh, maybe I was the last person in the world to become an entrepreneur uh, in my head, at least. Uh, so I am a more of a doer, thinker I was, but I never thought that I would have my own business because I always thought that that's too much responsibility that I don't want to take. Yeah. To be honest, that's what I always thought. Uh, I, I had worked uh, for a stretch of almost eight to 10 years in the media and advertising industry in Bombay. So, and specifically in the digital realm of things. Uh, and I had closely seen uh, my CEO, I had closely seen other company CEOs uh, who were working day and night, who were working, who were busy, who were, we didn't have any, <laughs> you know, any other life apart from the world. So that did not really uh, inspire me to become a founder or start a business. So, so I was the last person in my head. I was like, oh, I, I would never be a founder. Though I had always had ideas. I would give ideas to people that, hey, we can do that, do this. Uh, but I never thought that I would be the person who would be uh, like an entrepreneur. Plus, I was very, uh, I won't say very, but I was I was leaning to creative. I'm a music producer. I have a you know full-time gig going on of production of music that I do. Wow. Right, and then uh, I am a sports person. I play cricket uh, almost semi-professionally here, uh, so I have played for. I, I think I saw your records on Instagram. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so I have a lot of other sort of these things that are sort of uh, gives me a lot of flow in life, uh, creative expression, etc. So I thought I would do these these thing and then sort of get into a place where I become a consultant or something like that. That was the plan. So I was not the person who would start last person, but then pre-COVID, I started saying that I, this is not for me. I said, okay, I would want to do more of creative work. I'll do more of music. And I knew that I was skilled enough to earn enough money and still, you know, do my other stuff. So I thought I'll do consulting and all of that. And I left my job at my own office and I started consulting with them only. And, you know, so I was doing three, four hours of work with them and sort of doing my other stuff. So that was pre-COVID. And then when COVID hit, it was like very tough, even like everything just right. sort of, you know, went uh, haywire because all my plans of uh, going out and doing gigs or, you know, doing all of that kind of sort right. of fell, fell apart. And, and even work was sort of tough to get. Everyone was not aware what to do. Right? And now comes my brother, who's, uh, who's my elder brother. His name is Abhishek. Uh, he's the co-founder as well. Uh, and, but he's like in the back. He's in the he's the back person right now. He doesn't. Uh, it's not the case right now. So he sort of uh, was working with Deloitte, and he's a he's a U.S. citizen. Basically, he was he was in U.S. He had gone to U.S. and uh, so he got a pink slip. And after working like fifteen or fifteen odd years for Deloitte, so he was basically said that you know you don't have a job. So that was a big uh, and he has a family and you know he has two kids etc. and you know. So that was a big thing for yeah. like big big shock for all of us. 
uh, and therefore then we started thinking what so what to do and he has always been a person who has guided me so uh, and we always used to talk about ideas like you know we would generally yeah. <laughs> have uh, weekend calls like i don't think uh, you know siblings have these kind of calls uh, we would just discuss ideas of one and a half hours like this is happening in the world that is happening in the world okay now can we do something like that do something like this so we would always talk like that and then uh, we finally said that maybe you know uh, this can be a time where we do that so we started with the podcast we started thinking of a podcast right so we started we, we recorded two two sort of episodes as well you know uh, because i was from production background i had ideas i did recording and i did produce and all of that uh but then before we could even launch it he had this idea and i think that idea came from the fact that i was also doing this whole uh, solo entrepreneurship i won't say solo entrepreneurship but more of the creator economy i was sort of striding right. at that time and i was telling him that look you know can and i think canva was the example i took i said look how easy they have made yeah. it to become a True. creator uh because then i was doing my music i was making my own posters i was putting my own creatives up and everything i was like see how easy they have made for creators to sort of uh come out and be independent and i think that's when it struck him then he sort of this came out this idea that you know can we make something for teachers initially it was for teachers uh, we have pivoted a lot to come to freelancers uh, that's another stream that many people would not know so it was for teachers so we started it saying out and out that this is for teachers who are teaching students and they need a sort of tool to get their payments in have attendance and all of that in a small app like simple app and you know then you see their schedule that was a simple idea yeah. so that's why it was born that that was Wonderful. that is why it was called guru ko it was from guru yeah guru dakshina i remember yeah. i saw that that was lovely i think um, a lot of us who did not ever think that they are going to be entrepreneurs were sort of pushed into it because of circumstances i think my story is sort of similar i'm not sure if you know about it but um, i was working with the uh, thomson rand reuters uh, reuters as a legal counsel i sort of got really annoyed because i was working more than 14 hours each day and at that time uh, my boyfriend and my now husband he was working from home so it was like a guru core setup so these guys never had an office to go to so his office was in cambridge the entire uh, team was across the globe and that sort of excited me because uh, you know i also wanted working from home where i can i can take there's no sick leave concept actually when you're working from home mm. so i like that you could take holidays you could do your work you could you know um, balance your life with your work so you know that is when i was like okay i want to do something and uh, i decided to start freelancing because that is something that i thought would come naturally to me 6 years of law school i did my llb dllb from a national law university went did my llm also worked for a few oh. years then i decided that okay the one thing that i know is drafting the one thing that i know is writing so let me just take up freelance writing i started working we got married and then he was laid off from his job Oh. and we were completely you know everything went haywire because um, we did not have an income stream at that point in time and we were sort of pushed as well so we decided to uh, you know we'll give everything to building these income streams and we'll always have multiple income streams and that is why we started out freelancing then we built a blog then we built a youtube channel everything is sort of monetized and everything we came up with was something which is you know a passive income stream yeah. so that it gives us enough um time in our lives to enjoy what we are earning anyway you know so that's how it started for me um like you said right a lot of us do have ideas and we keep bouncing around ideas mm. but a lot of those ideas never translate i see a lot of my friends a lot of people who we party with you know we keep talking about ideas about startups the things that can be done the gaps in the market everything is very exciting talking about yeah. it is extremely exciting putting it in actual reality is the difficult part and most of it falls through because you don't know where to start or you don't have the funds so the one thing that i want to ask you is how did you guys go about funding your idea and if there is anything that you want to tell people about the various options they can explore because not everybody can get a venture capitalist not everybody can get seed funding what is it that they can do yeah i think it's a very tough question to answer as well uh, and but i think it's an important question to have some uh, sort of direction on 
So I think we are bootstrapped. So we we don't have uh, asked or even pitched for any funding till now. Uh, so we are trying to take a different path, and I maybe talk about it later in the interview. Uh, what we did was. Uh, I came again, as I said, I came from the advertising, digital advertising, marketing. So I have, I had a lot of network in that sense of, you know, I knew how to kind of get something from an idea to the, like, you know, a product because that's what I did in my job. And I had all these people around us. So, so therefore that work experience or that network that you have is, is important, right? So. Uh, so one thing that has helped me is that, that, you know, I knew people. Right. So resources was not a problem. Uh, see, there are two things that you would need majorly. Resource, which is one human, and the other is capital, right? Yes. There are two things, right? Uh, the capital, I cannot make it out of thin air for you, right? So either you have some savings that you are ready to sort of spend. So, you know, you can have two, three co-founders pull some money in and see where you can take that idea to sort of some form of you know physicality or you know people can like touch and feel that's one so you need some basic money right for that right once you have that basic money then you need resources you need you need the best people who will do it for you uh, maybe at a rate that's not the market rate because if you do it at a market rate you will not come so and i'm saying personally because I had, if you look at our website or app, it's, it has almost like the, it has uh, pretty much like, uh, I would say above average look and yes. feel, right? That's because I got sort of the best people in UI and UX who were my friends, etc., who did it for me, right? Uh, so one is that. So you need some network and you need some money. Uh, so either you build and both of this can be built. One is that you have some savings. So you cannot just start a startup if you don't have any money. And I don't recommend that. That's because you basically don't have any experience in life. If you right. don't have any money, that's one way to correlate, right? Plus then if you don't have any money, you also need some money to live a life, right? You need to yeah. eat, you need to pay rent, right. you need to do all right. of that. Right. So again, that's what I'm saying. So a startup should be made or an idea should be made when you have some experience basically which lends you some ability to have some basic income and some basic savings which you then can use right. to sort of build the product that's the first just to have an idea to a real world thing amount of money that you need have to have that and secondly as you work you will build networks so if i know you i'll say hey chavi can you write the content for the website or hey xyz right. can you do the ui that's how it's done in this world for any work any work needs these two things network and capital network is a big one capital you can right. make network That's is a big true. one yeah so if you don't have either uh, it's going to be tough so for example in in the startup world that we are in i had i don't have any connect in the startup world i because i am not from that world i'm from a media advertising that world right, right. so when we made this if you would have asked me that hey uh, let's go and raise some venture. It would have been tough for me and for our team because I don't have people in that network. So just to get into their uh, sort of emails and, and under their eyeballs, it would have been tough because nobody knows us, right? right? When we were starting, maybe people now know us, they get in touch with us, the companies are trying to say, oh, uh, you know, can we look at you? Can we buy you? And all of that discussion starts happening once you have something. But yes. that takes a lot of time and Definitely. patience to build to. So now when I have Guru Gore, people go to our website. Oh, it's a nice concept. Oh, there's an app. Oh, they have some people. Oh, they have some yeah. users. Okay, now let's talk to them. That's that's what you need to build if you don't have any that's network true. in the startup world. That's even Shark Tank is somebody is watching that. And I think a lot of people have been influenced by this entire concept of Shark Tank. I think people need to realize that the entrepreneurs who go there and ask for money have already something built to show. They have already built and they've already shown that their idea is actually a profitable one and it's not an idea anymore. It's already a business, right? And that is when people are ready to invest. It's very difficult to get investments at step zero. Yeah. And also the other part, because you're talking about funding, I just wanted to add, and this is the part I said that we took a different path to it. So again, so what happened was uh, my brother lost the job. We started this together. Five, six months down the line, he got a job offer. 
okay from amazon he was in deloitte he got a job for amazon which was a good pay and everything and he had a family and you know, we would take realistic calls right you know uh, so course. we had x amount of money which is like a runway we call in startup that this is the amount of runway we have we have six seven months of runway and after that we have to either go to seed or we have to like really go to some funding house to tell them that this is what we have right and it may have been a half big product may have not had a lot of things we would not have gotten a lot of money so we said that okay you take up the job i will do this full time makes sense so he took up the job and he made sure that we had cash flow so that i also got some basic sort of every month income i didn't have to worry about earning money these are reality that we have to talk about right? you know i also need money to survive of course so he said that okay i'll do the job i'll do this uh, you take it full time he made sure that we had cash flow so some whatever employees we have we have a product manager a social media manager we have a dev team these are basics that you need so he said that you know with my salary i can then make sure that this kind of goes and we are not in a hurry to go to market uh, and prove that this is a product because we have pivoted right. a lot as I, as i told you and and therefore this seed funding thing is tricky because it's basically a loan understand right. that so if like you know and the problem is that again it's the culture and society and and media that drives this culture so if you see so the last two three years all uh, startup headlines are xyz raises xyz billion rupees right what does this mean ali <laughs> raises this billion rupees ka kya matlab hai That's you are basically true. seeing that xyz takes x you know uh, 1 2 3 dollar of loan that's the other way to put it right and you are also losing control so you cannot really drive the decisions the way you want to if you want to pivot you will have to take permissions yeah so that's the biggest thing and uh, that that's a lot of things so if you look at uh, and these are signs that you have to take maybe if you are aware as a person or or an entrepreneur or even a normal like you know solopreneur that look at the people who have come out of it burnt like you know True. look at for example uh, maybe i don't want to take name but look at a large content creator he is he was an ex startup guy now uh, he is one of the biggest content creators right now his uh, name starts with a so he will tell you if you ask him he'll say that you know if you next time if i want to do a startup he would say i will go bootstrap because he yes. knows i follow him and i know who you are talking about yeah so if you are smart and you are aware follow these people who have gone through so so they, you would know that oh you know this is actually a trap let's not get into that right i completely agree to that well so when you have an idea try to think that okay is there a real problem that you are solving that is at an idea person at the idea level like right. you said now that you know we all have this idea there is the gap and all of that uh you have to test the market first with a scratch product nothing ppt talk to people right then figure out that okay there is some situation then understand that okay uh, will that be something that people will need and that is an that is a 90% uh, uh, intuition and 10% research if you ask people what they need they would tell you things that they don't need that is another insight let me tell you that yes that's why we don't do user researches last two years we have not done any oh aapko kya chahiye ha mere ko ye chahiye they will not, never use it so it's it's basically and that i have obviously learned over last 10 years i was a strategist and planner with my work was to do research with consumer but that is basically you know the the insight so now if you go and ask that hey i have this xyz product i think aap pe the problem hai ha ha mai use kare what your ha 200 rupees per month to easy hai dene ka but the reality is when the rubber hits the road nobody is going to do that yeah. just look at around the, how many subscriptions people pay netflix is freaking uh, struggling yes and nobody knows that people think that netflix is profitable no so that's why so these are the things that you know people like you maybe need to bring up that ki you know reality kya hai you know i don't always get the chance to have these kind of conversations with True. you know but people need to have that you, you, like you know okay okay are indian consumers ready to pay no simple so for us when we when people ask me that why don't you guys take subscription uh, you know 200 rupees i said dude free hai <laughs> it still people don't use it 
and still people have complaints and so we said that okay because we go through a payment gateway there's a pay now we just try to take a percent commission there so that's easier for us to not ask for money but okay you are getting money in that uh, process i am also get getting real money so that works for us and maybe that's how we want to scale but indian so i'm just saying that's the reality so you may have ideas but from idea to actually will the will the market be paying for it is a different question because for us uh, we never wanted to say that okay let's get to profitability we said that let's get to what the user needs right let's pivot 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 to a actual requirement where we know that this is what they need this is what the value is this is what right. the requirement is that is what we are doing but as you said when you get sort of venture when you get into boards where you know people are controlling then you don't have that then as a co-founder i'm t- and i said oh i don't have a schedule or i don't have i don't have a busy schedule you will have a busy schedule because you are basically trying to just get users right you're trying to grow faster than you can actually manage how much will you squeeze so uh, you talked about you know how you should test the idea so you definitely would have done that with gurupur right so at what point in your journey did you realize that your idea was taking off and that this could be something wherein you guys can actually make money from it that it was a profitable thing to do because like you said i think right like we have a runway period we give ourselves that much time i give myself a year you talked about 7 8 months i think one year is like a reasonable time to give yourself to understand whether something yeah. is working or not for sure uh, yeah i think the runway uh, is good first to test but i think some as you said some startups uh, or some categories it require more time but you have to get some initial sparkles from people so for example when we started we had like good 5 10 users who were uh, without we doing much they started using the product and they were they became consistent so we figured that okay agar 5 10 log hai then duniya mein aise aur log rahenge who are we just need to get to them we just need to get to them right so right. that is sort of a again it's an intuition based thing as i said if you ask people they'll say hi i'll use it but it is about actually using so and then you will cut uh reduce take out things that's not required so right now if you see we are only focused on invoice and payment we started with scheduling ye hai attendance hai palana hai note lo ye lo then we completely cut it down because we saw behavior is the only thing you need to see which is your data and which is what people are doing in your app so you need to give something to them and then see what they do instead of interviewing them because that is a biased part a lot of people also think that you know pouring money into facebook ads and instagram it's the only way to grow and you'll get a lot of consumers and all of that i have been personally burned i know that i ran facebook ads i ran instagram ads i think um, i'm not sure what went wrong because i still have to go back and look into what went wrong maybe i started earlier so i did not have a very good experience personally with advertisement i know it works for a lot of people i know it works for people who start at a certain uh, point in their business a lot of factors go into it it's not about just throwing money at ads and it working so what would you uh, you know say about that what would you, like you were also in the advertising industry right so i'm pretty sure you have great insights over how much money people have burned in running facebook ads and instagram ads thinking that that's the secret to success yeah, yeah good question but so dekho abhi uh, it's a simple thing and i always try to make it simple and basic uh, which is basically the first principle logic of everything you have to understand like that maybe some people can research that word first principle logic so फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल लॉजिक क्या है कि किसी भी चीज करने के पहले उसका जैसे यू नो यू सी ए ट्री द ट्री हैज इट्स ब्रांचेस इट हैज अ रूट इट हैज अ स्टेम इट हैज फ्लावर्स सो दीस आर लाइक द पार्ट्स ऑफ व्हाट मेक्स अ ट्री दैट इज द फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल ऑफ अ ट्री राइट सो फॉर एवरीथिंग इज अ फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल स्टार्टअप करना है उसका फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल्स रहेगा लाइक फेसबुक एज रन करना है उसका फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल्स रहेगा राइट सो इन एनी लाइक एनीथिंग व्हेन देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ अटेंशन टू वन थिंग इट गेट्स saturated true that's just how things work right you know abhi tumhare upar aake 10 100 log agar bolenge mere ko blog likhna you can't write after one like i know i cannot do this just humanly not possible for me to take so much over like right? same with facebook so now if everyone is saying a facebook ads hi chalana that means there's something wrong because then you know how will i compete cost of acquisition will only only increase if if 
I was the only first person who realized, oh, Facebook me log hai ads chalate hain. Great. So you know it's taking <laughs> me five rupees to get one person. Now hundred people are coming. True. How will Facebook show that ad? Facebook says, okay, no, we'll do bidding now. You you pay two hundred, then only I'll show your ad. Yeah. First part is, you will show how it is. People are people themselves are switching off. They're like, oh, it's so many ads are. Rah. I'll not I'll not be on that platform only, right? So <laughs> as a consumer, like I don't know me in the platform. So and then you have something called uh, uh, advertisement blindness or creative blindness, which is basically you see an ad, but you've been seeing so much ad that you basically don't want to see that. You just skip very simply. You skip that. You do. You know your brain knows it's an ad, and you've been seeing so right. much ad. It's called advertisement blindness, which is like you just scroll through the ad. So. all of this lead to the fact that then advertising will not work basically so consumers don't have attention blindness of advertisement same messaging so many product consumer like switched off i don't want to see ads i'm just talking from a consumer perspective right you may have money doesn't matter so it's it's not going to be easy for you to get that's the first point second point is that see you and me are maybe the top 2 3% of india and that's Out of 160 crores, or uh, sorry, 130, 40 crores, that population that we have, 12 से 20 crore लोग is what we fall in, which is the top two three percent of 12 से 20 crore क्या बोल रहा हूँ? 120 का 10 percent and two three crores. Take two three crores of people, or two to five three to five crores of people is what we are in, and that's all startups are talking to these people. Right. See all the Makes startups. Makes sense, right? I never thought about it that way. You're right. Uber, Zomato, An Academy, Falana Academy, X Y Z, Cred, Ye, Uncle, Jo bhi hai. Hmm. They are all talking to these three to five crores of people. And as I said, not all of them will have subscription for everything, or they will not pay for everything. And then they will have like, oh, I don't want this product. Ye, ye bhi start up hai, wo bhi hai. Too much competition. I don't want. And they have certain amount of wallet power. That they will spend for something. So then you are already advertisement नहीं पहुंच रहा है. Same audience को पहुंचने की पहुंच कोशिश कर रहे हो. It's a blunder. Simply put, there is no way you can do that with money anyway. Right. So what are the kind of advertisement opportunities you think are available right now, which are not very saturated? I think again, I come from advertisement you know. and yeah. saying that is like slaying advertisement. I I don't think advertisement works anymore. In today's day, and it's a sweeping statement. But uh, the digital advertisement, be itna, be itna, it is saturated, right? So you need to go through in like you need to go through content creators, right? If that is what you consider as advertisement, right? You know, or whatever you want to consider it. So you need to go through content creators like you or other people who have created trust in that category, and they are recommending a product they would want to use. so for example when we came to you or when we go to any other sort of you know creators in that category we always i have given that as a brief to people that they have to use the product they have to create invoices through us that's when they should talk about us not like randomly that acha i i have this is the product we should use ha falana no that means that i am as a brand saying that okay you have created trust i don't want to break your trust with the audience so you use first understand if it's a good product Then recommend. Then recommend. Make so sense. that's that's the way that I feel. But then it takes time. No startups have time because they have money. They think they can invest time, <laughs> but time doesn't stand still for anyone. So for us, we are patient, right? We're like, okay, we'll go through Savi. We'll give it three weeks. We'll go through X Y Z. We'll give it two weeks. So we are trying to grow slowly. But if you have a lot of money and pressure, the reality is that you cannot wait. And then you give money to everyone. They're like, ha, ye bhi hai. Uh, someone doesn't even sample your product. Ah, ye use karlo, wo use karlo. Then you are just building more distrust because people are like, oh, right. how can this? And even influencers and creators slowly sort of get diluted. They're like, their followers are like, ye to kuch bhi recommend karti hai, kuch bhi uh, you know, you know, you start That's also. That category is also getting diluted. Actually, people don't want to trust influencers anymore because they have been doing that. They have been recommending everything left, right, and center because that spot. they earn from and a lot of influencers are also losing trust because they don't even disclose that it's a paid collaboration or you know it is something that uh, you know they have been paid for which does not really uh, 
might not matter but for from an audience perspective sometimes uh, you know people feel that you know she's getting paid and that is why probably she's talking about it even though that person genuinely felt even after taking the money that that product was good enough to um, sort of recommend right so i i also personally think that you know just like facebook ads maybe this influencer category is also getting saturated and diluted so that's that's how it is right so as i said like if there is something that is being used too much there will always be saturation so yeah. you always have to ask yourself so for example uh, for us uh, we i like you know for a lack of better we, we don't have a lot of employees so we always want to optimize through some tool or some technology so right. uh, you know we would we would have got an email from influencer campaign running agencies or whatever and you know i would have seen that uh, maybe would it would have saved us time but i know that they would have got into those sort of influencer so instead i said right. no guys look into people engage with them first see what are they doing doesn't matter right. about the follower numbers and then uh, you know we have done a lot, lot of uh, activities with people who did it for the first time they were literally flabbergasted by the fact that a brand has come to them and and you know they are doing this site right? and 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 we saw their timeline people congratulating them hey you have become interesting and all that which is great to see but uh, the the idea is that we went to people who are not even influencers right. who are not they are the ones are genuinely market. creating a space yeah. for them yeah, right. that makes sense so there are always ways to do it you know uh, maybe i would creatively ha uh, creatively and you know, you know uh, there are different ways maybe this yeah. interview will go long if i keep talking about uh, but <laughs> yeah i mean you can always uh, have different ways advertising is not the best way uh, maybe just to leave, leave you with one remark on this question that uh, some uh, famous wise person in advertising uh, once said that the best way to kill a good pro- bad product is by good advertising the best way to kill a bad product is by good advertising so if you have a bad product you call everyone in and say oh, oh, oh and then people use and then they will say okay this is the worst product they'll give reviews they'll die so and the best is you have a good product it will advertise on its own so uh, the right. best way is to create a great product there's nothing there's no other way there's no alternative to that that is completely ag- uh, agreeable we first hear that you know this xyz startup has raised billions of dollars and then we talk about how they have fallen apart and now they are sort of bankrupt and they don't have any kind of money these are the only two stories that we get to hear right mm-hmm. not a lot of people are talking about the in between difficulties that entrepreneurs face that startup owners face that anybody who's running a business i don't want to use startup owners because that has sort of yeah, painted, yeah, yeah, painted yeah, now yeah so uh, you know i want to talk about difficulties because i also want to normalize uh, this entire phase of failure a lot of people just fail once see a failure and then they quit but you know they fail to recognize that most of them have gone through the same thing they have gone through it to the next side and you know build something right so mm-hmm. i want to talk a little bit about failures anything that you want to share about that again it's a very interesting question and topic so uh, as a business owner or a business builder or or a, or, a, or a founder or whatever you will fail every day yes you will fail every freaking day you will go to bed thinking that uh, oh god uh, you know this is not working now i want to run away <laughs> you know you know i want to run away uh, i just give up it's not happening and this is i'm not even exaggerating this is exactly what i've gone through but you know Same most here. of days right so you would have some idea so it's it is it is tough but uh, being the philosopher that i am i keep saying that uh, that's the challenge you need right you know you pick your battles i think a lot of us in today's day are worried about failure or worried about because i think uh, not to again blame anyone it's just the human tendency you know we we we, we avoid failure failure right. avoidance or fear minimizing or risk minimization is basically built in humans homo sapiens right? right so we always want to reduce that you know anything that looks like will not work out we will not want to do yeah. that right so but the point is uh, it's that yin yang theory right you no know, this is exactly what you need to grow right uh, and this is exactly what you need if you want to build something which is uh, which which has a purpose or which has a built in uh, solution which will help people right, right? so you would need that failure that's that's what i would say 
just want people to know that it takes time if it somebody is saying that you know one month mein maine banaya 1.2 crores or 2.5 crores there are years of uh, working that went into yeah, that yeah, one yeah. month for sure right? so uh, people start feeling depressed about their own business so that, and about their own working that's the compass such as the internal compass you have to fix first before you start doing anything so that internal compass comes from this that aapko pata hai kya ki actually what it is you know it's not uh, uh, free lunches it's not an easy ride it's not going to be like very soon that you will do any of this right so, so ignorance is not bliss is basically what we are not saying bliss. no not at all that that's <laughs> again it needs all of things need context chavi so ignorance is bliss का कॉन्टेक्स्ट अगर इफ यू डोंट नो एंड यू पुट दैट कोड इज ऑफ नो यूज इग्नोरेंस इज ब्लिस दैट मींस दैट यू डोंट वांट टू टेक ऑल द अनरिक्वायर्ड इंफॉर्मेशन व्हेन यू डोंट नीड बट यू नीड टू हैव एज आई सेड व्हेन यू आर गोइंग टू बिल्ड समथिंग और रन अ बिजनेस और स्टार्ट अ सोलो प्रन्योर जर्नी और व्हाटएवर फ्रीलांसर यू नीड टू नो द फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ दैट थिंग सो उसका फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल पता करना होगा राइट सो आई जस्ट ट्राई टू रन टू रीड समथिंग दैट आई रोड लास्ट टाइम I said that we all say we want to watch relatable stories, but the truth is we like narratives that can make us escape reality. True, that is which extremely is what, true. Which is what we just discussed. That uh, we want to say that, "Ha, there is a hardship and all that," but are that is who would want to read that? Yeah. So that also reminds one. me of one of the things that I had read on uh, social media. So uh, there was this girl who is an influencer, and she says that I made a video on I made hundred thousand dollars in a year, and I got. Lacks and lacks of view. Then I made another video how you can earn hundred thousand dollars, and there is no views. There's <laughs> not even like ten percent of the views on that. And it's like how is that even possible? You know, I would prefer watching that over the dream that you were selling about. You know mm. how you like. I would want to know how you made hundred thousand. Uh, But that's what dollars. makes you different, and that's why you are running a business with someone else, which is completely fine. Not everyone will run. So right. you anyway said right. There are different kinds of people, and we need different kinds of. Like if everybody was an entrepreneur, who would buy our products? Absolutely. So that is the that is the balance that we need to have the dance of, right? And some people would want to see that video, and that's why uh, that top one percent of people do something different. Not to say that the other percent are not doing good work or something different, but it's just that they are different types of people, and they have different exposure, different mindset. They are taking that other right. path. That said, at one time you can always take two paths. And entrepreneurship is not for everybody anyway. Like it's any not, kind of business, not for everybody. And and that's completely fine to accept that. But people should be exposed to things to know that okay, there's a better way to do things. Like you know, there are a lot of these uh, people I follow. Uh, they're from the West, but uh, there's something someone called Dan Co. Uh, there's someone called Tim Denning. These are people who are. independent writer you should follow tim denning for sure you know you you should uh, follow because he's uh, in the you are in the similar shoe and you're building it like him and they talk about it like they have had failures but they always keep saying that aapko agar if you are not happy with what you're doing you should always change it doesn't mean that you have to start a business it just means that what you can do with your skills which may not be a 9 to 5 job which may be somewhere else or you have a 9 to 5 job and you do something else problem with what i see around is that people are not happy and they are every day having this low key warfare in their head right it's like it's like a low key war that they are fighting every day right you know and i'm like god you shouldn't be like this you know but uh, that is again something that we can blame social media for at least i do that because i know a lot of people who want to do things but they don't because they are so saturated with what media social media has to put out to them that they're like meri life achhi nahi hai what i'm doing is not worth it even if they started doing something that they wanted to do all their lives and if they're doing it they're still not happy with it they're still comparing themselves They're still thinking that mera do din ka baiga jab uh, when I will have crores in revenue, even though they are not celebrating the milestones that they have already achieved in their lives. आप चाहे job में हो चाहे business को whatever you are doing, like even if you're just doing some hobby that you really wanted to take up and you eventually got to it, people are just not happy. You know that is why people are selling products of how to be happy. <laughs> that is also yeah. yeah. True, I think uh, we again social media also has two sides, right? Like you can always blame it, uh, but you can always use it like how you are using it uh, 
to sort of uh, build your life and and have a, is... a better life so i mean i think it's people and uh, it's the mindset uh, thing that has to be sort of as the back the compass as you grow up it, there's a, there's a lot of variables to it what you have seen what struggles you have seen growing up True. uh how much you have been uh shown that it's important to do something before you get something it, these are all different different things otherwise it's very True. easy for a person who's a, a person who's a little sort of uh, vulnerable and has grown up in a sort of bubble and then quickly see social media and then they quickly start comparing so and then they get into the victim mentality very fast uh so it's just the type and the type of people maybe social media is not to be blamed it's just a tool right? you talked about you know there are two major components there is human and there is capital we already talked about capital there is something that i want to ask you about the human side of it so i know a lot of people i know i for one have always feared outsourcing mm. right so you as an entrepreneur you have built a team what is it that you know you look into your employees or look in when you are hiring a freelancer how did you get over that fear to build a team that actually works for you you are actually entrusting them with a lot of responsibility and with your vision right and they have to implement it the right way i know a lot of it depends upon you as a manager you as a founder who is working with them definitely but you know first how do you start outsourcing second what do you look in your employees especially if you're hiring a freelancer so what is it that you look at i'm pretty sure a lot of people are interested in knowing your perspective in hiring there are two questions there so one is that how do i hire initially as a as a startup founder or a business founder and second is freelancer which is a different discussion right so we'll have to discuss so one is initially hire your friends and isn't that like completely uh, against the rule which says don't do business with your friends and family uh, friends i mean friends is in people you know you have worked with them okay. let's let let me rephrase it maybe it's, it's, uh, it's not friends and family initially hire people that you are comfortable with you have worked right. with again goes back to that same point that agar aapne kabhi pehle kaam kiya hi nahi hai that means you should start up mm-hmm. because you don't have a network so you should start with people you have worked you have trust on because initially trust out you are outsourcing trust right you are not outsourcing work initially you are outsourcing trust so you have to outsource trust to people that you already have trust on so initially try to work as much as possible with people you have already worked with which i did i worked with ui designers that i knew i worked with ux dev people that i knew i worked with content people that i had already worked with so it's easier for me to outsource the trust understand that that person will be able to execute so the initial people should be like that because even one person who's wrong in, in a small tight organization right. will make it go out of the chain right it just will break the flow so it it is very very important and even difficult to work but the easier way is to outsource to people that you already know that you already have trust on that's right. one hiring secondly freelancers it has been not an easy one for me i have written something on linkedin also about it few days back that it's very very tough to understand the freelancers skills and right again i'll be raw with here and i don't want to uh, say good things all about freelancers because i have a freelancing platform but i have seen that some freelancers are not up to the mark right they right. are just uh, they don't have the core skills uh they are not aware of how to work professionally uh and again it's just me coming from a very professional environment of 10 years of working and then working with a freelancer so i also have some gaps and that may be a cultural gap as well but work wise i cannot have any you know sort of discounting no. and this thing kare bhai acha kaam to kharab ho gaya because you are from another generation yeah. <laughs> work has to be work it has to be that <laughs> culture wise i may feel oh this person didn't reply okay why oh this person didn't mark everyone oh why so there may be different cultural gap but work wise i have not found uh, or rather i have found a lot of freelancers who are not core skills strong nahi hai right that is what i found and i have had difficult time including the team to understand who to free, like outsource it to as a freelancer because there is no way to measure how will i know this content writer wo pura linkedin mein follow uska wo linkedin mein wo influencer hai right linkedin mein wo instagram mein they are 
they are influencer they are writing content they are writing uh, you know giving ideas i'm like wow this person i need the person and then when i get the person the person has no core skill so there is a huge gap between yeah. what is shown and and sometimes i'm saying not everyone sometimes there is a huge gap between what's shown and what the core skills because for a person like me who has worked for so long i need just one interaction with the person to know ke usko kitna kaam aata hai right so then i figured are no freak there is this huge you know this thing and i see a script and i see a content i see some writing and i understand that there is there's a lot of gap and even gap so if i take a content writer and there is a gap in english then there is a problem <laughs> <laughs> I can have problem. I can have a gap in English. I'm not saying that I'm a content. You're a content writer. Tomorrow English may gap. How can it be? Right? You know your communication skills. I'm not even saying communication. I'm saying grammar, English. I know. I know what exactly you're talking about because I have been. Uh, I have experienced that as well because I work with a lot of writers. There have been times when I had to rework everything from the beginning because it it just did not make sense to me. like nothing seems like in flow you know you are talking about a plant initially and then you suddenly start talking about something else and it talks about life and then it comes back to plant again it's a weird thing that people do i don't think a lot of content writers understand the flow um how important a flow is in their writing so that is why you know i was very keen on understanding how do you like fr- from a higher from an employer perspective somebody who is looking to hire freelancers what freelancers should take care yeah. like obviously yeah. core skill is uh, non negotiable non negotiable core skill not so i think one is uh, again yahan pe do part hai ek to freelancers everyone has to have the core skill so please get your core skill strong there is nothing else you need to do instagram that's what i said if freelancers think of themselves as product the same quote applies that the best way right to fill a bad product is by good advertising so what they are doing is they are doing good advertising which is their content and they have a bad product which is them their core skills yes. and then ek time ke baad you are done because i am not going to recommend that person to anyone i have a huge network i would not net, ne- recommend that person to anyone imagine right ek, And right. if, my, if that person is good, I would say, hey, X Y Z, ye, you know, ye lady, achhi content karti hai, and you know, this person. Right, good lost idea. opportunity. Right, lost because they don't understand that once you get into this sort of a network, it's a huge network effect. And if I am good at my work, you don't need that whole LinkedIn content consistency. Ye wo, you need to just get work, do good work, you'll get good work. It's again very simple, old school. True. So core skills say. Now, as an employer, now now I am also hiring a right now a content person full time. so we have given a post and everything we have gotten uh, like a lot of uh, you know sort of uh, profiles and from that i asked uh, river that you know i don't want to see we got 80 profile and that just proves you the supply of content writers you know just another insight i uh, just to add to that because i have been a content i am a content writer and i also work with a lot of freelancers i a lot of people ask me i think people think that content writing is the easiest thing to pick up as a freelancer and that is the problem yeah you just hit the nail on the head that is the problem people think that it is an easy thing to do and yes. uh, again barrier to entry is low na that's just strategy yes. if any category has entry barrier low hai to quality takes okay. it when i'm right now hiring a content writer or a copywriter uh, we got a lot of this thing right. i asked kreva to have a, i had a we had a, like that's the organization filter okay you know this is the kind of people we need so get uh, so she gave me seven sort of cvs and profiles to see and then we knew exactly who we want who we wanted to take because that is the disparity of talent out of the right. seven people reva had already recommended this is the person we need i went through all the profiles and i said ha this is the person we need and now i can tell you what difference is that person going to bring because as a employer or as i would say again every employer won't be same so it's just a personal perspective to be honest we would want people who has a take on life let's put it simply that way content creator ho ya copywriter ho ya whatever your name of the role is if you don't have a perspective you are basically neutral that's not what the world needs you have to have a take So if I get you as a co- copywriter, okay. Do you have a take on freelancers? 
uh, you know, are you going to say that, hey, freelancer, you guys are doing your payments wrong. This is the way to do it. That's the take. Instead of saying five ways to do take international payments. The take is the previous one. Right. So your, what is your take? What is your point of view? What is your lens? What is that uh, sort of structure that you're looking at the content from? What are you bringing to the table? This, that's yours. And that's exactly what's missing in 99 content creators. Only one has that. Right. Maybe it's 90, 10, I don't know. But that's exactly what we need. You need to have a point of view on the idea, which is what goes back to saying that, do you really have an idea? I don't want to get into advertising discussion, but copywriters and content writers, you're basically idea people. You don't have an idea. And uh, again, let me tell you that 95% of people don't understand what an idea means. The idea. So if I say that, uh, I'm going to say that international payments are tough, right? Now, give me an idea around which I can play, right? Now, the content that in the copywriter just can't say, hey, hey, international payments are tough. We know here are five ways to do it. That's the usual content writing that everyone does. But I need an idea on the top of that to then talk about international payments. So what's the idea? Then the idea is that uh, people are getting uh, payments late. Therefore, their uh they are, uh, for example, their shopping is a mess because they can't shop on time. For example, you're linking the fact that your payments are coming in late. Therefore, you're not able to go and uh, maybe uh, shop that iPhone that's coming on first or, for example, shop on that I mean, uh, right, right. Like Amazon, whatever. Or maybe talking like. about, you know, how PayPal takes a lot of your earnings, which right. doesn't so really make different it. Different ideas of the same thing. So the moment you make an idea, that becomes relatable. Oh. Ah, nice. nice. I get it. But if you keep saying the same thing, okay, five ways to take payments, five, seven, ways, which we do as a brand, and I hate it. And I tell that to my team. A content, and I go keep going to my Instagram, Insta, and I just keep removing some content. I'm like, yeah, I don't, we don't need so, that. So, um, in my opinion, there needs to be a balance uh, because those are the kind of content pieces that a lot of people are looking at. Not from an Instagram perspective, because I wouldn't consider myself an expert on Instagram. But from a blogging perspective and from getting qualified leads perspective, those are the kind of the first ones, the ones you don't like are the ones that ranks, the ones that people search for and ones from where you get qualified leads. The second ones are sort of to nurture people into understanding that they have a problem. And this is the problem. Uh, this is how we are solving your problem. So I agree. Sort of I agree. But I disagree a little bit, Chavi, which is fine in an interview. Uh, even that first content, na, when you are writing, maybe you don't uh, realize it, but you, if you, it's the good, if it's the good content, it has an idea. Yeah, that's true. Idea, matlab, some opinion. You're writing that five things to do, but your, you know, headline or your intro talks about a challenge, or there's an, right. there's, there's, there's yes, a simple yes, problem that you are saying that you know, hey, we understand this is the problem. Maybe because of that, you're not able to buy this on time, or maybe because of this, you're not able to enjoy that party. That's an, these are ideas. Right, got that it. is I, the point okay. of view. But if you don't have that five things to do, here is how to do it. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> okay, got it. No, that's the kind of content even I don't. Right. Do. So that's that's what you need. And isko hi sharp karte 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 karte, you become you make campaigns or you make uh, you know content that rings with people or you know as you said discovery content or which is something that people are like oh it's interesting. <laughs> then you read their long form content maybe. So for a copywriter, content writer, or any, if you don't have a point of view and you're not looking at that audience from their shoes, then you have missed the bus. Makes sense. So what is it that, what is that one thing you want to tell freelancers to do if they want to maybe work with you because, uh, you know, it's your personal perspective or maybe with any other uh, company that, or, or brand that they want to work with. I think like how do you... Smart. I think freelancers I, are smart. That's the first thing I would want to say. As much as as much as I have taken <laughs> their case, I think freelancers are smart. They're very smart people, most of them, because that's why they have at least started doing freelancing. Uh, and it's a tough job, right, to do freelancing. It's very tough, right? So they are smart. They have the wits. They have the guts. Let's put it that way. 
but if they want to really make it uh, you know moderate i won't even say big and have consistent uh, work with nice brands <clears throat> they need to know this this point of view thing if you go to nike nike to bahut bada out hai chalo you go to like you know uh, mintra you go to any of these uh, brands that you need, you want as like maybe zomato or whatever okay take zomato as example zomato has a brilliant copywriting team i think so so tell me what zomato does what what do they do they have point of views on things yes isn't isn't what and they make it fun what, yeah that's just a point of view on things the people love that if you don't have a point of view on things that's going to be a problem single mindedly have a point of view on a thing see what is the idea behind that content the idea is i want to tell them that they are missing out on shopping because they are getting their payment late that's the one line idea right. for example of that reason that get international payments ka jo that's the idea so single line if you can write that idea first then write the content and then say oh, the point of view that i'm going to take is that it's a funny point of view or it's a point of view that they're missing out on something uh, so it is that single line that gets clarity first rather that gives you clarity first and then you write so when you are being interviewed by a zomato person or you interviewed by any other any other they will see that do you bring that clarity of idea do you have a point of view because we have too many people with no point of view let's put it that way <laughs> Right. right. So you will always stand out. As I said, when I got hundreds of CVs and I saw one, and I said, "This is the person." That person had point of view. That person proved with the previous work that she had point of view in the work that she has done. That she has ideas that's coming through, and that's as simple as that for any content writer. Right. I'm saying. Right. For overall freelancers, again, I think this works even as a designer. If I'm a designer, and of course, I don't. I don't give you a perspective that you know. Hey, this is how the design looks, and the point of view is that you know, as Guru Ko as a brand is standing for this sort of a theme or this sort of a idea, and therefore this design. And the client will be happy to hear it because the client doesn't have time to think of this point of views and all that. Like, so for everything, obviously for UX, uh, uh, sorry, like like backend development, coding. which is like the more hardcore functional roles there you need to just know your core skills like anything like you are a good coder the code is not going to be broken it's not going to fall out products not going to break so your core skills again but overall in the creative roles you need to have point of view in the functional roles you need to have an understanding of your core skill very strong and it need to be up- updated with the recent text jo bhi ho raha hai कौन सा ब्रांड क्या करता है इवन इन दैट यू नीड पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू लेट मी टेल यू सो इफ आई टॉक टू अ डेवलपर एंड द डेवलपर डजंट हैव एनी पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू आई फील बैड व्हिच मींस दैट ही इज जस्ट गोइंग टू डू द फीचर आपने बताया हां ये फीचर हो गया इफ दैट पर्सन सेज मी हां वी मेन यू आई डोंट थिंक दिस फीचर विल रियली हेल्प इन दिस वे बिकॉज़ यू नो द यूजर इज रियली दिस इज द वे दे आर यूजिंग द ऐप ओ वाओ अ डेवलपर टॉकिंग टू मी इन अ क्रिएटिव वे ग्रेट आई लाइक हिम और आई लाइक हर सो अगेन कोर स्किल्स Have a point of view, know what you're doing, good to go. That's okay. what most people would would look at. Right. So I'll take the last question because I think we have already done more than an hour. Yeah. Um. So what is that one out of the box tip that you want to give business owners? It's not something that we all know that you know failures are the stepping stone to success. Think creatively, keep going, you will get success, and things like that. One out of the box. उटर I know, but out of the box, as a label, I'm not sure. So, uh, I think uh, as a business owner or as a founder, or you know, if you're trying to build even a freelance business, okay, freelance business people become media agencies or agents. Like you also right. are a small sort of agency, right? Like you have people under you who are writing, right? At the end, it's a people's game. That's the what I would want to say. I don't know if it's out of the box. But it's a people's game. 
so you need to understand psychology so maybe you would have seen in a lot of the questions i have answered i just went into psychology or you know so at the end you are working with humans jo tumhara product kharidega jo tumhare sath kaam karega jo tumhara ko paisa dega all are humans all are humans and all of them are humans right they all have their own life they go eat dal chawal they go and have fun with their family kids they like a sport they you know like go out etc so they are all human so if you basically know psychology and how to really motivate people not in the wrong way you know motivate will in the right way and know how to sort of push them give them happiness pull them give them purpose and all of that i think you would succeed right that's where i think uh, the core of any business is right. you have to know how to really deal with people and make them happy after the conversation is done or feel purposeful or feel motivated so, oh that's what you need to do so if you don't have that you would not have employees imagine us we are remote we don't meet i they can quickly say bhai ye kya office ke liye kaam kar rahe chalo koi aur startup mein jao right even right. if i have three four people or five people whatever they can do that any moment so i have to make sure that you know they are motivated to work right. every day not only that they do shouldn't leave they should give their best so that's one big part of a business person secondly i have to talk to my users i have to talk to you who's my influencer channel or distribution channel i have to understand you i have to make sure that you trust me so that's another user influencer distribution i have to talk to people who tomorrow buy me or tomorrow give me money i have to make sure that they understand me and this is all human बीच में टेक टू को सब आता है बीच में वो सब आता है टेक्नोलॉजी जस्ट ब्रिजिंग गैप ब्रिज टू ब्रिज द गैप आई थिंक आई टू डिलीवर राइट व्हिच इज लाइक योर कोर स्किल बट द सुपर कोर स्किल इज ह्यूमन स्किल दैट्स अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट स्किल टू हैव दैट्स अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट स्किल टू हैव एंड दैट्स व्हाई आई सेड 99 पीपल परसेंट पीपल डोंट हैव दैट स्किल दैट्स व्हाई मे बी दैट वन पर्सन पीपल सॉर्ट ऑफ वर्क आउट and they can work that's true and it's not even a skill that you can read and learn it takes practice it takes exactly. a lot of you have to open yourself up yeah i have to give you one sort of uh, tip if you are if you open yourself up and not closed then people start sort of you know it's like a sink it's like a magnet sink ho jata hai you have to open but if you are not open then the other person will not open up for sure especially that's... in positions of where you have to talk to different people manage different things you have to be open makes complete sense so thank you so much it was a wonderful discussion and i at least got a lot of valuable information on how i should move forward at least with my freelancing career okay and uh, a lot of good tips on business as well uh, if you have any questions for me or for abhimanyu you can always comment below and let us know one of us will definitely get back to you and if you like this video please do share it with your friends and family or with anybody you think would really uh, get some help with this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel guys and i'll see you next week okay thanks a lot thanks a lot chavi thanks for the interview Bye.